in New Yorkville with the latest on today's developments. Jewel. Hi, good evening, you all. We were expecting this case to go to trial as early as next week, but today's turn of events has come as a bit of a surprise for attorneys representing the former representative Dennis Hastert and his alleged victim known as James Doe. Now, this tentative settlement, which James Doe's attorney, Christy Brown, says is confidential, is subject to she and Hastert's attorney hammering out a written settlement. The alleged victim's lawsuit claims he is seeking money Hastert owes him from a three and a half million dollar pact over the sex abuse James Doe claims took place when he was 14 in the 1970s. In 2019, Hastert's attorneys told us that James Doe broke that agreement when he told family and friends he had been violated by Hastert. Now, had this case gone to trial next week as planned, James Doe's identity would have been revealed. Attorney Brown says she can't share whether or not that has anything to do with the proposed settlement. I can't disclose attorney-client communications, so I, you know, if he told me that or didn't tell me that, I can't share that. So. Now, Brown says that the judge presiding over this case has set a hearing for next Thursday, September the 23rd. But as long as attorneys on both sides submit that official paperwork to that judge, that hearing is not expected to happen. Reporting live in Yorkville, Jewel Hillary, WGN News.